Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a Crosley and Crosley makes really good uh, remakes of telephones and this is of the uh, 302 model, the Western Electric, and so it's a reproduction, but uh, Crosley has always made really uh, good reproductions of telephones, and this telephone came in from another repair shop, and uh, we're here, we have a note, it says something about the dial, and check to see if it's the dial or some other problem, and uh, so anyway, this is the initial checkout, and what we're going to do is go ahead and ring the telephone, so I want to plug it in. We'll let that go a couple times. We have dial tone, and we have modulation, but when it comes to dialing out, It hits one and just locks onto it. And it won't release it until you hang up. It does not hit two, three, and now it's hit the four. Locked onto it. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, zero, pound, and star. So it will not dial any any numbers out except for one, four, seven, and star. And if you think about a normal keypad, one, four, seven, and star are straight down from one another. And so it's a bad tone generator, I see. It's, uh, it's damaged, and it can no longer dial any other numbers, and the only line of numbers that it's dialing is 147 and star. And it won't dial them properly either. It just dials them and then locks onto them and cannot release until the voltage is taken off. So we're going to get into this telephone. I'm going to unplug it. I want to take the body off. We've already taken the screws out. And I want to give you a look at the body here, or the inside main PC board. And we'll go ahead and start uh, removing the screws on this. And we may not be able to get this tone generator IC. I'll have to take a look at it. We're going to have to do some troubleshooting. And see where it takes us. I got a lot of hot glue here. On this screw. Might be able to... Okay, so we're back now, and so what we've done here is desoldered the IC chip, and um, we want to get that out of the circuit. And we also have a socket for an IC chip, and I like to use them when uh, we're replacing uh, tone generator ICs. And I don't use them all the time, but sometimes I do if I think I'm going to have a hard time uh, crossing an IC chip or putting an IC chip in. Now, uh, these are a CMOS and Logic chips, so uh, you can actually uh, blow the chip just by touching it. So if you're not familiar how to handle Logic and CMOS and TTL and all that kind of Logic, uh, you probably don't even want to, you know, 
mess with uh, the IC chips part of it. So anyway, uh, it's not a good idea to not handle them if you don't know how to handle them. And so anyway, we're removing the uh, IC chip. And also I want to clean up the board. So I want to take a look at that. I don't want to wash out the video, but I have to uh, I have to check this board out. And I want to clean it up some. Kind of want to look it over. Now what I want to do is I want to install my uh, socket. See if we can get that in. Might have to take a break. Sometimes you have to work them in. all the pins in. Take a quick look at that. better to check everything very thoroughly. Then do it real quickly and then uh, miss a step. Okay. So we have that in. Now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to clean my soldering gun and I want to solder in I want to solder in my uh, socket more solder here.
Now what we want to do is I want to make sure that's took. Clean up anything that I don't like. checking everything over here. I'm going to make sure everything looks good. Okay. Now what I want to do is a lot of technicians won't do this. They don't take the time. I like to clean the surface where we were working. It's not the flux that you have to worry about. It's dirt attracts to flux. And so if it's in a, an environment where it's going to get dirty a little bit and then the flux starts grabbing on to the dirt and then you always have that possibility of a crossover. So that's why I clean it. It doesn't take that long to do. And if you're trying to look at the circuit, there's no sense in looking at a bunch of dirt. So you're kind of doing yourself a favor. Okay, I should take care of that. again. that should do it. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to take a short break because uh we're going to have to locate an IC chip and uh see what we have and kind of do some tests and kind of go from there. So, uh we'll be right back at the video here shortly. Thank you. Okay, we're back now. And so what we've done is we've located a IC and we have went ahead and installed it uh, before we started the video again because it's pretty important that none of the legs get bent up underneath the IC chip or bend out. You're only going to get a couple of bends on a, a leg or the pin of the IC chip before it breaks off and then you have another problem. And, you know, I've had these come in and people have tried to take these chips out or put them back in and they've completely annihilated the trace on the back side of the board. And so, uh, you know, these sockets are probably the best ideal. And if you've never replaced one, since they're CMOS, you know, TTL logic and lots of different types of logic material, and CMOS, you can simply walk up to the chip and touch it 
and uh, it's gone. You know, it'll short it out or take the chip out. So here's our uh, old IC, and we can get rid of that. We don't need that any longer. And uh, we have our new one installed. And we're going to go ahead and plug our keypad in. We want to plug the telephone in. Give you some dial tone. Swing our phone around here. We want to start dialing our numbers. If you watch the analyzer here, I'm going to end in a 2. Now this particular model has a flash with some dial tone, and then we'll hit redial. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch the analyzer, that's 100% modulation every time you see that red light. So we know the telephone is repaired now and the main PC board is. So what we can do is I want to test it one more time, walk through the numbers. Pound star two. Want to hang up? Redial. Should end in a two. We'll test it one more time. Pound star. Okay. We'll unplug the phone. Now what we want to do is we want to reinstall our board. Get it back into place. We also want to put our switch covers back on. These are little dust covers. Get them back into place. start reassembling the telephone now. Get these uh, screws back in here real quick. And we'll do some final checks on the telephone. These Crosleys are. Uh, like I said earlier, really good remake telephones. Or
reductions, whatever you want to call them. Sometimes it takes longer to put the telephone back together again than it does to repair it. Walmart. Okay, so we know that the telephone is in working condition, and 
these uh, Crosleys are really cool telephones and this one is uh, in like the brushed stainless steel model so it's just a really cool telephone and uh, you know a lot of people uh, like these and they're a very decorative telephone and they're just really cool and they're made well and that's uh, that's great so this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair A1 Electronics you can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959 thank you for watching and have a great day